at 7 p.m. And so um, we wanted to do a pre One of the things that's been missing from Google Earth for a long time have been the ocean surfaces. So we've got great satellite imagery, but around 70% of the Earth's surface, which is in water, we don't really know much about it. So the idea of this project is actually trying to get academic, environmental, and consumer-friendly data about the oceans in one place, in one product, easily accessible for all. So this is in Hawaii, underwater imagery. Archive, another partner that's done some great things on the images of life on Earth. And they put up videos that have never been seen before on ocean life. I'm just going to try and play one of the videos and just try and show you. So this is the kind of, so this is the kind of thing you can see. And you actually, you know, the logic is geospatial reference. So you, you can see that the green turtle is from this part of the world. Google Ocean is a tool which is in line with our own objective of making marine knowledge more accessible to the interested or concerned citizen, as well as other stakeholders. The European Commission is therefore setting up a network to process fragmented data, as you had the occasion already to remark, on seabed geology, living species, and chemical pollution in order to build up complete sea basin pictures. This is being done through a European marine observation and data network that we are calling EMODNET. We are confident that this will help us meet the commitments set out in our mar mar marine strategy in order to achieve good environmental status, help business and authorities plan the routes of undersea pipelines, or show where our coastlines are vulnerable to a rising sea, amongst others. Moreover, later on this year, the European Commission will publish a prototype European Atlas of the Seas. Our aim is to raise awareness of Europe's maritime heritage, of economic opportunities existed in sea-related activities, and also the fragility of our marine environment. Uh. Our stakeholders can use your window on the oceans to overlay our geological maps with shipping lines, historic racks, as we have seen, or protected areas in order to better understand, in order to safeguard as well as make better use of the ocean's resources. To give, them, give us the geo RSS feeds so we can actually. Oh, I'm, I'm skipping things on Google Ocean and then we'll open it up for questions. I'm going to try.